Hey guys, I'm Jessica Sterling, the portrait and event photographer based in Los Angeles. And today I wanted to talk about helpful tips to put people at ease when you're photographing them. First thing to know is nobody really likes getting their picture taken or very few people do, so you have to make it as quick an experience as possible. Doesn't mean you have to put in like a nervous energy, but just, you know, know your tools and just, you know, keep moving. A lot of people say, ah, oh, I hate having my picture taken. I say a couple of things to that. I say, me too. <laughs> Why do you think I'm on the other side of the camera? Or I just say, you know, it's so true, it's so common. I gotta say, you know, just about everybody most people don't like having their picture taken. It's really common. And not like you're degrading what they said when they say, I hate having my picture taken. But if you tell them, you know, hey, yeah, you're not alone in that. I think that's helpful. I know some photographers really strive to make their people, they're photographing, they call them their subjects. They strive to make them ill at ease, uncomfortable, um, worried, concerned, irritated, upset. You know, there's a lot of classic stories about that type of thing. A little trick, I guess you could say, is when you meet somebody, you can find something that you actually like about what they're wearing or something and you can compliment them. That's an idea. Whatever comes natural and doesn't come off um, fake or too heavy or put on or something like that. And it makes people too, if you're, if you're worried about how you look and somebody says, hey, I really like your sweater, Jessica, why thank you. You know, it makes you feel like, cool, I'm looking good today. If you get people talking about something that they really like, uh, or listening to music that they really like. A, it's a more pleasant experience for them, and B, it brings out their best. So, you know, you get somebody talking about something that they love, they get excited and animated, and it really brings out their own joy. I think smiling and uh, being genuine in your smile and really honestly liking people and the people that you're photographing goes a long way to making people feel comfortable because they feel like you like them. And who doesn't like to be liked? right and you know that you're gonna have a nice time because this person seems approachable allowing that person to tell you stuff and listening to them opens it up a bit and lets them feel that they can communicate stuff to you which in a way you know you're two people sharing a space for a period of time it's a much more pleasant experience if it's friendly I love Will Rogers saying I never met a man I didn't like um, and I think that if you honestly like people and you are honestly interested in them people blossom and they enjoy being photographed and I think that they bring their best to you. Um, and they're more beautiful and handsome that way too. It is very reassuring to see somebody who is confident and I think if you are stressed out in your shoot or worried about something like that, it makes the person you're photographing feel like maybe things aren't gonna go well. And that calmness that you're projecting and putting out there is super important. This is not brain surgery. This is not life and death. This is creating something wonderful. And so you don't have to be like, you know, have your game face on. This is like, this is a joyous experience, you know? Even if you have to really think hard about it or work hard or you're going, oh crap, I don't know what the I'm doing. Even if you're like that, you know, you just kind of realize that this is something cool and smile and, and try to keep it genuine but you know, you can also, if you realize, hey man, I'm like freaking out here, just, you know, I got this. It's really important. I always think about Cary Grant and his sort of relaxed, casual, like everything is totally fine and silly. And even if the worst things happen, it's like, eh, you know? And I think that is the understated elegance I try to portray in my shoots. You know, some photographers get into really like directing people that they're photographing and I think it's important to be clear about what you need and want from that person but if you get to me too cerebral, like too many like words and like, okay I want you to think about seahorses, you know, and you're under the sea and this type of thing, oh my goodness, it's like way too much to think about and you know, you could say, okay, bring it down a little bit, that's great, you know, I want to do it like this, like that. Maybe show them the type of shot, but also physically direct them. I think it's much more effective than giving them a mental exercise that hopefully they'll kind of figure out what the heck that you want, when all you want them to do is just turn their face a little bit. Just say, hey, can you bring your chin this way? Way better. And I think being clear and confident is really the way to go. Sometimes if you direct people a lot while you're photographing them, it helps them because they know that you have it, you got it, and they can just relax and they know that you're gonna make them look great. Um, and, and you really do need to make them look great. So if you're not getting the shot that you want, keep shooting if you can and keep moving it, you know, adjusting things, them, the lights, whatever you need to do to make it 
mm. better. You can tell them, hey, we're gonna take a ton of shots and we're just gonna keep going until we get lots of good ones. Just always keep it positive and uh, take the stress off of each image. So those are some thoughts on how to make people feel a bit more comfortable. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. And be sure to like and subscribe and any comments or questions you have, just write them down below. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life. Thanks for watching.